Hello, my dear listeners of uh, Daniel's Blood Love. This is Dr. Daniel Kim of Daniel's Blood Love, uh, Love of My Blood. So I will explain the details of the HLA typing, which is used for the selection of allergy stem cell donor uh, for the hematology disease in an easy and brief way. What is HLA? So, to understand the meaning of the HLA, in other words, the human leukocyte antigen, we first need to understand the concept of uh, the immune mechanism, which can differentiate the self versus non-self. All the, all the uh, biologic uh, animal and uh, the plant have some immunology mechanism. The basic concept of immunologic mechanism is to detect the self origin uh, material and the defeat the other non self, which means the foreign attack from the outside of my our body. If our immune cells, such as uh, white blood cell and uh, lymphocyte, um, so leukocyte is detecting some foreign uh, material from the outside of the body. First, the lipocyte or leukocyte can uh, contact the foreign materials and ask the foreign material to uh, present the HLA, especially in the uh, human body. A human all the human cells has a human lymphocyte, leukocyte antigen, and uh, the, all the human immunology cells have some receptor to detect the HLA molecules in the other foreign attack, attacking materials and foreign attacking uh, biological some organ, organism. And if a lymphocyte or a leukocyte detect the same HLA which has the same uh, in their lymphocyte and the leukocyte, they can understand that, oh, this is ma uh, the same material from our body, so we don't need to attack this material because it is originated from our body. But if the HLA which is presented by the foreign materials is different from what they have in their lymphocyte or leukocyte, they understand that this is the uh, invasion from the other organism or other biological some materials, and uh, the lymphocyte and leukocyte usually uh, attack the foreign uh, invasion materials or biological some organism and defeat it. This is a very important concept of immunology. So to react in this way, all the human cells has their own signaling materials which can differentiate it from the self and the non-self. And this is the main concept of the human leukocyte antigen, HLA. The HLA is presented in all the cell surface Especially the HRA1 is presented in all cells and HRA2 is presented in specific immunology cells such as T or B lymphocyte and macrophage and some kind of leukocyte. So let's look at the details of HRA. The HRA is composed of five to six pairs of uh, uh, genetic signals uh, and the, this genetic signal, so the genetic sequence is located on the chromosome 6 of our body. In human body, all cells has they, they have their own uh, genetic uh, signals, uh, genetic sequencing of uh, genetic molecules uh, and we have uh, uh, all, all together 46 chromosomes in all our cell, uh, especially in the nucleus. And these 46 uh, chromosomes are existing 
in our cells and a pair. So pair weight, so all the cells has 23 pairs of chromosome set in their cells, especially in the nucleus. And in the chromosome 6, uh, in, in the exact way, uh, the two chromosomes in the six pairs of chromosome set, the, we have this kind of genetic sequencing and the genetic sequencing can be classified into HRA1 and HRA2. So HRA1 is composed of the three kinds of deterrent signaling set. The first is HRA-A, B, C, and the two is the R, the Q, the P. And because this uh, genetic signal is consisting of two kinds of different settings, we have another cell of A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, D, P in the uh, F reciprocal uh, chromosome. So in this A uh, signaling set, there are uh, almost 100 different set of the signaling sequence in the chromosome uh, HRA A sequencing set. So, when we compose this kind of A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, D, P set, we have so many, more than one million hundred thousand of composition of HLA type in our human body. So basically, uh, if uh, one patient, one people has one kind of HLA, the other people will have the, the different uh, signal, different composition of HRA typing in this way. So uh, if the HRA sequence is different from each other, also, the, the one cells from the one uh, host will be administered to the other one and the other one's body uh, detected the cells and, and when the immunologic cells and the, the other uh, people's body detect that this is a different, uh, uh, H this, this cells has some different HRA set in terms of immunological mechanism. They, this the immunologic cells will uh, uh, invade or attack the, the cells from the other body and defeat it. But if the HRA is almost is the same, especially in the A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, so there is some tolerance of immuno, immune response and the immune response cells will not depict this uh, invasion, uh, invaded the cells from other body and they can uh, harmoniously uh, live together without depicting the invasion invasion cells. So this is the immune tolerance, concept of immune tolerance. So basically, the uh, allergic cell transplantation is an adoption from the hematologic, hematopoietic stem cell from the other donor, uh, other body, and, and to uh, accept and have some tolerance of the uh, adopted the cells from other body, we need to match the A, B, C, D, R, D, Q of HRA signal in a 100% way. And the reciprocal setting of A, B, C, D, R, D, Q is com 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 perfectly match between the donor and the recipient. We call this situation as 100 matched sibling donor or matched unrelated donor according to the, the, the origin of the donors. If the donor is uh, uh, adapted from the sibling donor and the HRA typing is 100% identical, we call this uh, situation as so allergen cell transplantation from the matched sibling donor. And if we use the unrelated donor and the HRA typing is 100% uh, identical between the donor and the, the, the patient, we we can call this situation as matched unrelated donor, pool matched unrelated donor. Um, to, to get some 100% of the success in the allergy stem cell transplantation, first we, do, we needed to have, uh, we needed to do is to 
select the 100% matched sibling donor or matched only related for the donor for the donor of allergen stem cell transplantation. How can you test this HLA? Usually, we need the blood, the pepper blood of the patient and the donor. In general, in the C match the sibling donor to find the match the sibling donor, we usually test the serotyping of the HLA. The HLA has two kinds of aspect. The very simple way to is to detect and decide the antigenic specificity of the HLA. But if the antigenic specificity is the same between the donors, sometimes the genetic signaling will be different even though the antigen has the same sequencing. But so uh, to select the match the sibling donor, we usually test the allele testing of HLA to find the match the sibling donor. Uh, so the patient usually is uh, the patient's blood is usually analyzed to detect the so whole genetic sequencing. We call this kind of uh, sequencing as high resolution, which means that all the genetic sequencing of the HRA uh, molecules is uh, analyzed to find the genetic sequencing of the HRA in a very detailed way. But for the donor, especially for the uh, match the sibling donor, for, for finding the match the sibling donor, we don't need the whole genetic sequencing. We don't we need to only just the antigenic specificity of the HRA molecules. So in that situation, we usually do the low resolution test, which means that we only test the antigenic specificity of the HRA molecule. So for the sibling donors, we need it only to check the low resolution test. It takes on three or four weeks. But for finding the well, match the unrelated donor, we needed to do the high resolution test to, to check the details of the genetic uh, diversity of the HRA molecule. It will use usually takes more than four to five weeks. So basically, the patient needed to be tested using the high resolution test uh, for the match the sibling donors. The donor usually needed to be tested using the low resolution test. But for the match the unrelated donors, we need to check the high resolution test to find the, the uh, whole genetic identity of uh, the similarity or the identity of the genetic sequencing of the HRA molecule. This is the concept of the HRA typing, and this is very important concept of allergen stem cell transplantation. Before we uh, recognize the significance of uh, HRA, the allergen stem cell transplantation has very low pop, uh, successability, but after we understand understood the concept of HRA, the, the success rate of uh, allergen stem cell transplantation dramatically improved. So, we need to find and check the HRA typing before selecting donor and doing the allergen stem cell transplantation. And the HRA typing is usually done with the PCL method. And there are two types of uh, checking method. In other words, the high resolution test and low resolution test. And uh, there are five pairs of important HRA molecule in the class one, A, B, C pairs are very important, and in the class two, the DQ is also very important. Some experts insist that the DP also are also very important, but conventionally we usually test only A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, and in some specific institution, D, Q is usually not checked because the A, B, C. DR is, are more important than the DQ. But in many institutes, we usually check the ABC and DR, DQ for checking the HRA typing for the success of allergen cell transplantation. 
Thank you for listening to uh, my uh, in, in, in introduction of atrial typing. I hope that all the patients with hematologist disease and their families will be happy and healthy. Thank you for listening.